Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Prost. I'm the Gnarly Gnome. This is, uh, this is a good one. So you know the point of this show. We hang out here in the basement. We drink some beers together. We talk about the beers. That's all fine and dandy. This is, this is a little bit different. Uh, as you can see by the hat, we're going German tonight. Not just because the name of the show is Prost. We're kicking off my favorite time of the year, Oktoberfest season, and we're doing it by comparing two beers. They're going head to head with only one survivor. I mean, neither one of them are gonna survive. I'm gonna drink them both. But every fall I do this thing, this showdown. I drink every packaged Oktoberfest beer from Cincinnati to find out which one is my favorite for the year. It's not to say it's the best. That's not to say the other ones aren't good. I'm trying to find my favorite for the year. So Fest beers, Mertzens, they go head to head, battle to the death. Tonight's the first night. We're gonna compare two, uh, pick between them, and we're gonna keep doing that all throughout Oktoberfest season until the very end when we have a winner. So follow me on all your social media platforms, all that stuff, because you never know where these are gonna pop up. The first one's this week on Prost. And we have two heavy hitters, two favorites of mine, uh, which it's going to be hard to compare these together, but we're going to. We've got October Fuel from Braxton and Sam Adams Oktoberfest, a classic, absolute classic, and in a bottle still. <laughs> and um, if that's not special enough, we've even got proper glassware. <laughs> for both of these beers. I cannot promise that I will have proper glassware for every one of these showdowns, um, but we do tonight. All right, let's uh, dive into these and we'll talk about each one as we go here. Uh, October Fuel, this is traditional German Märzen. It is decocted, it's all German brewing ingredients, as far as I know. Um, Oktoberfest lager. Fuel for fall, prost to new traditions. A traditional Oktoberfest style lager, <clears throat> brewed in the authentic German way, malt forward with a touch of noble hop spice, a perfect beer brewed for prosten. And prosten, apostrophe and prosten. That is the Kentucky way. Um, and then we've got good old Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Love this beer. Love both of these beers, which is again why this is going to be a tough one. Um, this had to have been the first Oktoberfest beer that I ever had um, because it's been around so long. Uh, it says, hearty and smooth, lager, 5.3%, 16 IBUs. It says, Oktoberfest, malt brings so much to a great beer. That's why we developed a unique malt blend to provide a robust color and a smooth, rich flavor like you. We look forward to this tradition every year. I do look forward to this tradition every single year. Um, what's ABV here? 6%, 20 IBUs. And what did I say this was? 5.3, not that any of that matters. <laughs> We're going to taste them. Uh, so looks wise, they are uh, pretty similar. Uh, Sam Adams is a little bit darker. I don't know if you guys can even see that. I have a special beer light so you can see color of beers now. Here, we'll put that over there. So here's your Sam Adams, October Fuel. Uh, there's a bit of a thicker head on the uh, October Fuel. Darker, lighter, thicker head. Smaller head. Not that that means anything. Let's dive in. Prost, guys. Mm. Nice, bready, malty. There's some sweetness there, but I wouldn't call it a sweet beer. It's a hearty beer is the best way to describe it. It's uh, rich. Sam Adams. Mm. Oh yeah, that's, man, those are both really good. Um, October Fuel is a little bit uh, lighter 
easier kind of to to pound, which is fun because it's the higher ABV of the two. Um, whereas Sam Adams is a little bit heavier, which I mean, not that color means anything to that, but it looks that way too. Oh yeah, ma'am. It's my favorite time of year for a reason. <sighs> Both of these beers are fantastic. I'll tell you what, it's really hard to pick a favorite just after a couple sips like that. You really need to sit with these like all night long. Like I want to, I want to spend a night in a beer garden <coughs> with a stein in each hand just all night long, just back and forth, back and forth until at the end of the night, I'm like, I like one hand better. <laughs> Man, this is tough. And to think how many times I have to do this, have to do this uh, before the end of Oktoberfest season, there's gonna be a lot of hard choices. <sighs> so before I, while I drink and while I kind of ponder this in my head, I should kind of explain how this works. So the first stages of this competition are not blind. I can see what each beer is. We know what each beer is um, until we get to the later rounds. Definitely the finals, maybe even the round before that, we'll see. Those will be blind. Um, and we will, I will not be doing that by myself. I will bring some good friends, some people whose opinions I trust, and we will crown a winner that way. Um, as far as the matchups, there is a very complicated uh, <laughs> decision system that I put together to put the bracket together. Last year was completely random, and I didn't like that. So this is not a random matchup. These beers are paired up based on a few different factors. Number one, release schedule. So they've got to be out relatively close to each other. I've got to, if you're releasing an Oktoberfest in October, it's going to be really tough for me to get you into an early round, an early, you will get the same round, but into a, a, a quick matchup. Um, I'm trying to drink these, especially um, this first rounds as fresh as possible. Uh, the other factors that go into it is, is my rating. If I've had this beer before, I keep track of what I think of every single beer. I have notes that I keep on all these beers and I have a rating system, a top secret rating system that nobody will ever know. <laughs> um, I also have, uh, untapped scores that I do reference. So everybody else's ratings of all these beers. Uh, those things all get compiled into a spreadsheet and it figures out for me the best way to do these matchups. And um, I can still tweak stuff if I need to, but so far, um, I mean, I, I only have a few in the fridge right now. I think I have four ready to go to, to battle, but um, so far it looks like it's going to work out good. So that's, that's kind of how I pick who battles who. Um, you guys don't really care that much about that. Hmm. Huh. Man, it's difficult. Um, I think, so I, the deciding factor to me, I think is going to come down to the drinkability of the beer. Um, I, which is difficult because I love how easy this goes down, but I love how rich this one is. Uh, when I'm looking for an Oktoberfest, I am looking for something that I can drink a whole bunch of all day and all night. I feel like this one is going to get a little bit heavy if I do that with. It's not bad, but compared to this one, um, yeah, I, I think, hang on. These are both great beers. This has a little bit more of a, uh, a hop uh, presence to it, which 
Um, I also kind of like it kind of breaks up the end of the beer and keeps it from lingering too long. Whereas this definitely has that, uh, that spicy kind of, <laughs> as I say that, the spicy noble hop thing that lingers a little harder. Whereas this kind of cleans up more with that, uh, that, that bitter kind of um, hop kick to it. Uh, I'm, I'm going Braxton. Uh, these are both local breweries, both local breweries that I love. This is not a dig at, uh, at Sam Adams. Um, this is a fantastic beer. I think it made it really far last year. I don't, I don't know, I should have the bracket in front of me so I could see how everybody did last year. This made it really far into the competition last year. Um, but I, yeah, I think I give it to, uh, to Braxton. Congratulations, guys. You're on to the next round. Prost, everybody. It's going to be a long Oktoberfest season. A long, good Oktoberfest season. <laughs> mm. Prost. Ooh. Prost again.